morning. It's not good morning, so I'll just say morning. Deja vu, got cardboard in my car again. Um, Monday, 24th of June. I'm at my mum's. I'm just about to go in and give her a bath. I've got a bath seat there I'm going to take in. It was in my garage. I had it off somebody a while back and uh, I thought that would come in handy because they were giving it away for free. So I thought I'll have that and then it's come in handy. So I'm going in to bath my mother. Then, what am I doing then? Going home, sorting stuff out, have some breakfast maybe. Although by the time I finish here, breakfast will probably be gone. I've taken mince out of the freezer because I'm going to make that family burger pie tonight. Um, now I know how long it takes to cook. I'm prepared to make it. Uh, what else? I need to pop to mum's friend in Kefili. Um, What else? Oh, see? I can't believe I went to bed. And my mother woke me up at stupid o'clock. Every single time I go to bloody bed, she rings me for the most stupid things. And I'm like, have you really rung me at like four in the morning or whatever it is? And she's like, yeah. And I'm just like, fucking hell. Shit times pass, I know they do. Bloody hell. Dexter even said to me this morning, don't worry, Mum, I love you. It won't last forever. <laughs> love him. I think my mother's spying on me because the cameras for the living room is going off on my phone. So she's probably at the window looking, wondering what I'm doing sitting in the car. But I'm just delaying the fact I've got to go in and um, go up her stairs. <sighs> oh God, why is life so hard? And some of you were there probably thinking, oh, it's your mother. You should be doing all these things for your mother. Blah, 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 blah. But it gets to a stage where you just think, for fuck's sake, like. And then there's my sister. I know she can't do much because she's in Spain, but she's having a time of her life. Did you hear that then, right? That loud noise is my car. It does it every now and again. I've said about it to the garage and they're like, mm, it's like the battery it does something. It turns off, right? So I've had the car off now for a couple of minutes and then it just randomly makes this really one weird noise like that just then. What's it sound about the there? Height adjustable. It says corner shower stall. <coughs> Be alright for the bath. It says <coughs> it's height adjustable. I think it's like a. I'm not quite sure how you adjust the height on it. Although it's got a knob on it like a crutch, it doesn't push in. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this and see if I can shower her or bath her. She's got a bloody seat in her shower in her bedroom. She's got a really nice ensuite with a really nice big shower. I could get in it as well. Um, but she's like, oh, I don't, I don't like the shower water on me. Oh, I can't, I can't. She's like that. Oh, don't, don't. I think she's frightened of the water. So she needs to make my life harder by me then having to bath her, which is awkward, just because she don't like the shower water. Yeah, go on, tell me. Don't be too horrible. You're horrible to your mother, you are. she got dementia. Don't I fucking know it? <clears throat> don't I know it? Anyway... I'm going to go in, put 
got a smile on. Hi, Mum. Are you okay? And then go home and be miserable. Because that ined inevitably is what my life is. Me being miserable at the moment. However, I am being on my plan, diet plan. Mmm. I think I could just um, sit here and people watch. I should wave at my neighbours that went by. I could just sit here and people watch all day, really. I'm a, I like a people watch. Right, I'm going to go in and get this over with. Get back. As long as it doesn't rain. I might see if my son will there. Uh, get out and do the old hedge because it looks atrocious um and yeah i'll catch up with you uh in a bit when i'm in a better mood maybe <laughs> Different driveway, different life is what I need. Hour and a half. I've been down my mum's. I've just left. I've got to go back down in another hour to hang her washing out. I just left and I didn't even get as much as a thank you. Not as much as a thank you. Where's my normal life gone? <laughs> Important phone call while I was down my mother's because I didn't know my national insurance number for security off by art and I was down my mum's so I couldn't get it she wouldn't do the phone call <laughs> so she's going to be back at some other time today <laughs> I can never get anything done for myself because I'm always doing stuff for other people. <laughs> Good old Kaza, hey? Good old Kaza, she'll do it. <laughs> the story of my life, that. Eh? <laughs> Anybody wants a lift, oh, Kaza will do it. She'll give me a lift. She'll do this. Anybody wants anything? Oh, Kaza, she'll do it. She hasn't got a life, she can help us out. Uh, I better go in and do what I can for myself for the 
hour and a half I've got before I've got to go back down. Fucking hell. <sighs> oh well. Let's go in and be the bubbly casa everybody likes, everybody knows. <laughs> Not the one they don't see. Oh, fucking great. <coughs> Bloody great. Hi. I need to say magic for this, okay? Just the big Cheers. box one. It's for my mother it is, hang on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right, okay. thank you. Oh. Cheers. I don't think you noticed. One parcel. I won't open it because it's from my mother. This is the toy, the teddy. Take that back down when I go. Oh well. Isn't life great, eh? I hope we're all having a better day than me. Mine's shit. I just oh. <laughs> whether I even post this on my vlog. So, this is two seconds later, and I'm in my car, and just to show you the reality of what you guys see on YouTube and what people choose to show you, and what you see of people's lives, and then you choose to negatively comment to them and, and stuff like that, and you don't really know what goes on, because I'm now back in my car from my mum's, I'm on my drive. <laughs> And I could be, hi, I'm back in the car. Um, I just bathed my mum. She's fine now. I'm going back in an hour and a half because I need to put washing out for her. Um, and then I'm going to get on with dinner. Haven't had any breakfast. But yeah, catch you in the next clip. And that's what you see. But in reality, this is me. And I'm fed up. But that's what it is. But I will see you in the next clip. Hi, I'm back to my mum's with a parcel. That's been sent to you. Yeah. 
You don't open it. Yeah. Just press your finger and it'll make a hole. Yeah, it's pretty finger to the Got it out of the packaging and that's what's inside. So can you look in there? Oh wow. That looks cute. What is it? A bear of some sort. It's from a very posh shop. Hello. What's your name? You'll have to give it a name. Are you a runaway? No, he won't be going anywhere, that one. You don't have to toilet train that one either. See, Mum got it for you. She thought you might like to look after it. Oh, and put it on and my shoulder. Give it a cuddle, because it's a nice soft one. Uh, are you really soft? What's it got on its ear? Let me have a look. <clears throat> oh, it's a stife bear. You are privileged, Mum. What's a stife bear? It's, um, well, let's just say this, wasn't a co this doesn't cost her a fiver. No, That's um, a lovely bear. What is that? The make of it? Yeah, you want you don't want to take the label off either, because um, be worth money in years to come. Stife. It's a famous um, shop. Well, it's a famous bear. Oh, I dropped it at your feet. That's lovely, that isn't it? Aren't you lucky? Yeah, lovely, soft, and cuddly. It's really soft. You can sit it on your knee and stroke it when you're watching the telly. Oh, you're my friend. Looks a bit like one of them, um, like cockapoo things with curly hair. Yeah. That's lovely, that, isn't it? Very nice. You've even got earrings. <laughs> that's, the, that's the label saying it's a stife bear. Oh, that's lovely. It's doing that natural. That, yeah. mm, nice and soft, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to keep that with you in the front room. You can take it to bed and cuddle it in bed. I think I'm soft. No, don't need to be soft to have a teddy bear. Inspecting it, are you? Do you want to say anything to see Mum? I think. Thank you very much. You like it, do you? He's very, very realistic. Yeah, he is. It's very yeah. soft. Very nice. <laughs> Right, your washing machine's going to finish in a minute. So I'll hang your You're washing out. You're very nice, are you? You just can't talk. No. Yeah. That's the best You're way sometimes. You're a bit of a dummy. But you can stroke it's, it and give it a it's, cuddle. It's very natural looking how it's... How the eyes are in... Very well made bear. Mm. Right guys, we're going now and I will catch you 
when I'm back in the house to win lunch. So it's a goodbye from my mother. What are you calling him? Charlie? Huh? Oh, Fred. Yeah, Fred, that's a bit of a frumpy name. Gwyn? Oh, God. <laughs> what are you going to call him? I don't know. What would you like your name to be? I think he looks like a Charlie. Are you a Charlie? Mm. So it's a goodbye from Floss and a goodbye from Charlie. Right, Charlie. Hey. Bye. <laughs> so I'm back home and I've got to go back out again to help somebody. There's out there, good old Kazas or Founcy. Anyway, I've got no time to make food, so I've just grabbed these out of the fridge. I picked them up in Aldi the other day. There's four in there. Generally, I would have two with some fruit and yogurt, but I'm just going to eat these on the go. 412 calories in that. But I've done anything to eat today, and it's half past 12, so I'm going to have them, and they'll last me until dinner. So, yeah, that's my lunch. Boring. Using calories. But they're there to use, so boring lunch. So I am now out. On to my next task. And my lunch, them chocolate pancakes, they're all right, like, but for 412 calories, they were a bit lame. Could have had something much nicer for 412 calories. However, they should keep me full because they're protein packing. Oh, I just fed up. Tether back teeth. But, you know. Yeah, on to my next um, task. It's true, though, I've got to call my channel the right thing a bit of casa because everybody wants a bit of casa. Oh, anyway, I'm going out on my own for five. Open the window, it's hot in here. Very hot. Oh, I've opened the windows, right, because it's hot, and I'm right by Egan Waste, where all the poo goes. It stinks. They must have one of their vats open or something. Back down here later, hopefully, with Dexter getting rid of this card. All boxes of um, stuff I've had in that in the garage that I've got rid of and flattened and... Oh, God! So I'm going to pop into Lidl's on the way back to get some coke and my mother a paper and I wouldn't mind some bananas. I would have got a pretzel when I was there but because I've had the pancakes and I need calories for dinner for this um, burger pie, I won't be getting one. guys I went in for a bag of salad 
yes bag of salad and i was only talking this morning to somebody you know who you are lovely lady on the internet um and we were only saying that you pop out for something and then 40 quid later um you've spent some stuff they have quite a few new things in there i haven't been to a little for a while i'll show you what i got a few things here i could just smash there was um some what is little it's german isn't it oh, there's these bloody things in there and i thought i can't buy them because i knew for a fact they later on i would have eaten them all and gone bang because <clears throat> i'm massively overweight on a jan yeah i'd have gone bang um oh they, they look like fondant fancies but without the lumpy bit on the top and they have pink ones and brown ones and they were 450 calories for 100 grams so i put them back anyway i picked up some of these 75 calories i'm going to do a quick shopping all in the car because i've got to stop at my mum's and then i've got to go straight up to school for dick so drop this stuff off and then I can't cope. My legs can't cope. I'm waddling around like a freaking twat. Anyway, cheese and bacon, 75 calories for them. I got these for the kids. Munster Claws. They're like their own brand of Munster Munch, aren't they? And they are 92 calories a bag. So I got them. I got some salt and vinegar. 129 strong cocktail 131 so i've got a few crisps this don't last very long in our house and yes they're not a very nutritious snack but who gives a shit well from that especially today i don't care if it's nutritious i eat what i eat i eat what i want to eat and that's the way it goes don't like it don't friggin watch me but i don't eat many crisps so that's fine two bunches of bananas <sighs> big ones can you see the difference they are quite a bit different big ones are for me and my lot little ones are for me mother tried ringing her she's not answering the phone i've looked on the camera and she's just sitting there looking into space She's obviously watching the telly, but oblivious the phone's even ringing, so I'm not bothering ringing her back. I just pick her up what I think she wants. Mature, extra mature cheese. 30 grams, 129 calories. I've got mild, 125. You go through loads of cheese, mainly my eldest takes all the cheese pick these up not seen these before i don't know whether these are new or not but i absolutely love banana flavored things i like bananas but actual banana flavored things and i'm gonna have one of these in a minute 112 calories bar i picked up two because let's take one out because jackson has taken a like to eat in my low calorie bars which I actually told him off for last night. And he's like, well, they're mine. No one else's, mine. If I'm in a good mood, I'll share. If I'm not, they're mine. So that's what's in that bag. I'm not gonna be able to see out the bloody window now. Got my mother milk. She likes long life. I got a... Uh, kitchen roll and while I was in Lidl HMRC caught up me debt recovery cheeky fuckers why do they call it debt recovery I'm not in debt I just owed them some tax money you know? paid it now that was a few hundred pound bastards catch me in a bad mood as well they did bacon I usually buy smoked but I got unsmoked um, 116 for two rashers. This is zero for me if I cut the fat off. Bag of crispy leaf, that's for tonight. Oh, that's zero. I bought this bechamel sauce. 
I'm, last time I did lasagna, I made it in a thermo mix and it was really good, it was tasty. If I'm in a hurry, because I'm busy like, and I'm making a lasagna, that's perfect to have in the cupboard. Calorie wise, what we're looking at in this? 160 foot, <coughs> 160 for 100ml and there's 500 mil in there and it will either feed five or six spending my mother's oven you're looking at 140 to 160 calories on your lasagna just for that but then everything else on your lasagna apart from the cheese you can make zero so not too bad branched almonds go sleep <laughs> 189 for 30 grams I got them for cooking. Got two of these. They say they're new. High protein yogurts. This one is passion fruit, mango, and papaya, and it is 176 calories. And this one is 168, and it is peach. I don't know whether I'll get to have them or whether the kids will siphon them out of the fridge. These are new popcorn bars. Milk chocolate, 79 calories for one. I got these for Warren to take to work. Apple and cinnamon porridge oat bars, 215 calories. 210 for the raspberry and honey. He doesn't like bars with chocolate on. So I got them then. I picked up two packets of ham. Because we're always making ham sandwiches or whatever, and ham is um, zero. I picked up five of these. There's a man now at the door smoking, looking at me, thinking, What's she buddy on about? Five of these, right? They are cheese pretzels, 296 calories. And I thought kids could have one for breakfast before they go to school, and one could take one to work tomorrow. Stuff like that. So, we put that back in there. I think there's one more bag. One more bag to go. Oh, put them in there. Put them in there. Yeah. One more bag. Got my mother. She always likes an apple turnover when we come here. It's a bit like I like a pretzel, she likes apple turnover. Don't know the calories in that and I don't care because I ain't eating it. I've got those popcorn bars as well. They are the peanut butter ones. 89 calories. Did I tell you the calories in the other ones? Can't remember. I also picked up them. They like the fibre ones but birthday cake flavour. 79 calories. It says they're new. Kids like noppers. You can get them in home bargains and stuff. I think that's Little's version of noppers. They are 132 calories for one. Two unsalted butters because I use butter quite a lot in my demo mix. Vanilla yogurt. This is calories. You, this isn't zero. It's 81 for a third of the pot, 54 for 100 grams. And there is 450 grams in there. Thought it'd make a change from just eating natural yogurt all the time. I picked up these nacho cheese flavored puffs and then twigged that they were a big bag rather than a multi bag. I just grabbed them, you know, as you do. 100 grams is 492 and there's 90 grams in there. That's a bingo snack, but I'm not going to bingo anytime soon. Um, I got this pasta because I liked the incredibly large size of it. That's the only reason I bought it. I thought, oh, that'd be nice. Um, zero. And then I bought three of these for the kids. Um, 148 for 28 grams. They're like puffy, they're a bit like them bugles. You know the bugles you get? Bugle crisp, they look like them. They're cheese, are they cheese and bacon. Yeah, cheese and bacon. And I bought my mother a paper, which I've got on my dashboard. 
like the bechamel sauce back in there. You get her bananas out. There are bananas. Oh God, my car, you wanna see it? I look like a white jippo. If anyone sees me, they'll be thinking, God, look at her car. I've got all food in the front here. I've got some bedding for the dog. That bag is full of shoes. Kurt Geiger and all stuff like that. That I'm going to put on the bay. Brand new. But I've had out the garage and left them in my car. Let me show you one. I'll show you while I'm here. These are some Converse that I had and I think they'll fit Dexter now, so I took them out. I just need to give them a, a scrub. Size five these are, I'm a size five. These ones are, uh, where did I get these from? Kin by John Lewis. I don't think my knows I've got half these, so I've got to hide them. I'll say, oh yeah, I had them when, um, you know, they've got, been worn. It's a great mark on them. Well, I have actually worn them. So they've never been worn. But I have worn them like out for one night. But they've got, um, does it say on there? It doesn't actually say. <sighs> they smell absolutely. Hello. They smell absolutely delightful. They are leather. And they have got, um, is that cow or something on there? Fur? Can you tell? Silver heel. But yeah, I'm not going to wear them again. I don't think my trotters will go in there. What time is it? I've got to go, oh, I'll be back in within an hour. And then. I need to I'm gonna try these ones back on when I get in and see if my trotters will fit in them because they're quite nice if you're going out although I don't really like the back to my heel shall we? You've got like a glitzy um thingy on them. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, we the shopping over. A bit dusty because we've been in the carriage. Kurt Geiger. These are nice, but I can't. I just can't do heels anymore. Like a... Oh, you get it in. See if there's no wallet there. Like no. I mean, like warm ones. I think I would actually break my friggin' neck if I tried to, um... I've got a coat going on. It's break my neck if I tried to walk in them these days. And... One more box in there. Now I've tipped out all these boxes. Let me drop the bag out. I'm going to be able to get them back in. Moda. In there. These ones are in a dust colour. Nice boot them, aren't they? They have been worn a couple of times. Still got labels on them. It's got over there. But yeah, can't do shoes like this no more. I just 
don't go around in fancy shoes. So they're going to be going on the old uh, bay. Oh, right. That's my, uh, well, that's not even a shopping haul, is it? It's just the shoes that I've got out of the garage. So I'm, tra I'm traveling around the garage. So I've got to go home, get the shopping. Well, stop at my mum's, drop her stuff off. I'm not going to be able to see out the side window, not going the back window. Oh, and I forgot to put these shoes in. Oh, my God. Right, them. Dexter will love them. Pair of Converse. Right, I've got my mum's bananas. My mum's milk. Her cake. Pastry. Her paper. I just dropped my purse. It's now probably empty because... Been paying bills. Got my phone because I'm talking to you lot on it. <sighs> How many calories do I say these cereal bars were? I'll put that in the app. Oh my god, that smells like banana milkshake. Mmm. Nah. It is absolutely delicious. Where is that gone? Oh, there it is. I'll be buying them again when I come. It's just like a crushums, not a crushums, a crushum banana milkshake. That's worth the calories at if you like banana. Mmm. Well, nice. Hmm. Hmm. If you like banana, get the little. Don't even know what I did in the receipt. Right. I haven't done a shopping haul for a while. I've still got Becky here, look, keeping me on the straight and narrow this week. Mm. Yeah, I know. Grandma gets a spice bear, I get you. Better back, she sits in my window. That's a ride with me. I'm hoping my son is home. His friend just passed his driving test and came round to pick him up to go out. What's the life, isn't it? Now the car don't work. What's going on? I can't even see this car coming. I can just about see. Sake. Now I put the wipers on. I think I'm in the other car because where the wipers are in this car, you change gear on the other car. Oh man, my day. And do you know what? It's absolutely boiling, stuffy hot. That banana, that banana bar, I'm telling you, that's an that's a eight and a half out of ten, that. You could 
it would have been being a bit bigger. It wasn't big enough for my liking. But it's done the job. We probably won't eat till quite late tonight because once I've sorted Dexter out and got home from him having his glasses, we're gonna go straight down the tip with this hopefully. And then um, I'll start my family pie. Which I've got to say, looks very nice. And Michelle reckons it's like this puff thing that they used to be able to get down in Folkestone. having it as well so it'll make six pieces I'm gonna make it in a square not an oblong ooh, bumpy what's going on here an oblong um like tart tray I think rather than a pie dish so it's not that deep I'll see if that'll work because I don't want like a really thick pie so yeah that is me done until I catch up with you um, probably when I'm with Dexter now. Well, I'm still knackered but I'm feeling a bit more cheerful. Can't be a miserable bugger. I was going to say another word. Can't be a miserable bugger all my life. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit guys. Oh, and I did buy, I can hear them squeaking. I did buy 12 bottles of their um, Pepsi Max GP effort. Yeah, I know it's bad for me. Everything is. Right, guys, I'm just off to get Dexter. And then we're going down the tip. However, my new phone has got not an iPhone connector. Jeez, it's hot in here. So I can't charge my phone while I'm out, which is great. I've just got Dexter some snacks out the fridge. Coronation chicken breast slices. And one of them things from Lidl. Because he always comes out of school hungry. What can I have to eat? So I'm going to go and get him. Go to the tip. Come back and I'll stick my phone on charge. <sighs> and breathe. When I went down to my mother's just now, she was just sitting in the kitchen by the bin, trying to work out how to open her little duster buster hoover thing. So I've done that for her. Oh. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up. You couldn't write my life, I tell you. You couldn't write my life. Bye, right, guys. I'll see you when I've charged my phone. I haven't had time to video me making this completely. Oh, it's quite late now. It's gone eight o'clock. This is a dough rather than a pastry. So it's a dough that I've made. There is minced meat with um, onion and um, garlic in there. And then I didn't have Dijon mustard, so I've used French mustard. And it's just tomato sauce and mustard. And then I'm layering it with some gherkin slices and then some plastic cheese. And then it's having a dough top put on it, brushed with egg white sesame seeds on top and banged in the oven so that is our dinner with some chips so yeah i'll catch up with you when it's ready it done just about to go into the oven guys dinner is taking its time watching Emmerdale. um i'm gonna have this that i bought earlier in little 296 cows which is taking me right down to hardly any calories left but that's fine, I'm gonna eat that and have my dinner. This is the finished product. 440 calories a slice if you cut it into six. So I'm just gonna take it out of the tin. What the inside looks like. Guys, this is my food. I've gotta say, that looks absolutely divine. And if it's nice, I'll definitely be making it again. I've only got 22 calories left. So I've cut it close to the bone with my calories today, but I'm within plan and yeah, 
I'm not going to be having anything else now with 22 calories left. So I'm going to eat that and finish the video here. And I will see you all tomorrow on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>